All right, here we go. Uh, fat guy in his backpack, back again. Uh, we are now up at Fremont Peak. Here's the, the sign for Fremont Peak. I'll go ahead and read it. It says, Fremont Peak was called Gavilan Peak in an early Spanish times. Gavilan in English uh, meaning hawk. So it must have been a lot of hawks up here at the time. In 1846, Captain John Charles Fremont, uh, braved captain of the of the topographical engineers of the United States Army was in a survey exploring the expedition to Oregon and California. His presence within armed forces in the, in the with an armed force settled in area was objected to by the prefect Manuel Castro and General Jose Castro and the California authorities. He was ordered to leave instead Fremont prepared to resist this request. He ascended Gavlin Peak where he, he built a fort of logs. Uh, sorry, part of it's cut off, so sorry. A sapling was cut for, okay, a sapling was cut for a flagpole. And on March 6th, 1846, Fremont raised the flag to the United States. Castro had his forces below at San Juan Batista. But before any attack was made, Fremont's flag stand, flagpole blew down in the afternoon of March 9th. Actually, it's my birthday. That's interesting. Uh, Fremont taking, this is a bad omen, broke camp in the, the, the night and moved on towards San Joaquin. So upon, so open battle was avoided. After this episode, Galvin Peak again became the meeting place for Hawks. Elevation 3,169. So, if you guys, for all those in uh, Appalachia area on the East Coast, this is probably similar to what you get. You know, I just forgot something. I'm headed towards my car again. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause this and turn it around. And uh, you guys can see what it's like here. Okay, so here we go. Here's the parking lot. Lots of flies. Uh, so far, no horse flies, which is nice because those suckers bite. Hi, Jen. Pretty good. Oh, pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. All right, so here's my. Uh, Here's my walking stick. Oh, here's my walking stick. Sorry, I forgot I. <laughs> I'm still new at this whole YouTube thing, so I got my camera turned around. But like I said, we'll go ahead and film here for a while as we go up the trail. Again, here's what this part of California. Lots of oaks. In fact, oak trees are the predominant tree here. Got some pines. Got some ponderosa pines, I think, over here, uh, and a few other things. So headed on the trail. Again, that guy in his backpack. This is hopefully going to be all episode one, since I have no idea what I'm doing. I am probably going to email this to my daughter. It's probably a little better at this sort of thing, and hopefully she can edit it. Go ahead and create a YouTube channel. It is a beautiful day here. Uh, at the peak, I think it's in the low 80s, high 70s. Um, so you see a little bit of the trails we walk up. I'm going to turn, turn this around. All right, so here we go. We're going up the trail. Now this is an iPhone 8, and the battery power. 
Honest thing, when you're doing videos, really sucks. Uh, <coughs> on the way up here, I was listening to Ghost in Her Head. Uh, great audiobook. Uh, I kind of know what's a Halloween book, but it is interesting. Uh, I'm adjusting this a little bit. There we go. Hold on just a second. Fixing things. I do like to listen to audiobooks uh, a lot. I usually buy one a week. Uh, what I do is I like to, so I'll, one week I'll listen to a new one. And uh, so I don't know, these are my headphones right here. And uh, the next week, uh, or after I'm done listening to the one, I start listening to an old book. So I, dang, I have stupid flies. Uh, the next week, I'll listen to another, and or an old one, a book that. Oh, there we go. Try to adjust that. I love these beats with the little cord attached. My my son got me with some for last Christmas. Uh, except they were blue, uh, powder blue, I guess. And uh, I, uh, I was going. We were going on a backpacking trip of all things, and uh, they, I, they, I put them on the side of my truck, and they fell off. A big old semi ran over them. One of them completely destroyed. One of the headphones. The other one still works fine. Uh, but I liked it. I like these beats. I think they're great. I like the fact to pause. I just connect them together. It pauses. Uh, the audiobook I'll be listening to is, on this hiking trip will be the late Lincoln Lawyer. Actually, it's a continuation. I one of the things I like to do is. Uh, when I, uh, on my categories, I love doing categories. And I have uh, one category of audiobooks for backpacking. So the audiobooks I have in there right now are uh, Will, which I haven't started reading yet, or listening to, sorry. Uh, on Will Smith, his autobiography, <laughs> before he tried to strangle that guy, or slap that guy, whatever his name was. And uh, then I have one based on uh, uh, the Lincoln Lawyer, that's it. It's kind of a legal drama, pretty good. Um, and then I have one, uh, another one's a history one. I can't remember what the name is right now. Uh, John, uh, I'll think, I'll pull it up and look at it. But anyways, once I'm done reading those books, I just put on my, my audio library. Uh, I love iTunes. Uh, I love the fact I can make those categories. I do have a, a uh, tablet, which I know I could get the Audible, but I don't like that. I, I like the fact that I can, with iTunes, I can buy the books. Um, and then put them in the cloud, which I, <laughs> I do have the cloud. I love using that. 
that's worth the 99 cents a month I pay for it. Uh, but anyways, I put my audiobooks in there. Although I do keep some on my phone, just in case. Because like I said, I do like to buy a new audiobook and listen to it. And uh, then uh, I'll go back and listen to an old one. Uh, and then I also have my Halloween category, which it's October. So I have three books in there, Halloweenish books. Uh, one is a, uh, <laughs> it always happens when I'm thinking of it. One is Hercule Poirot, a Halloween murder, or oh, Halloween party. Uh, the other is this Head Full of Ghosts, which is about a young lady that's, uh, you don't know if she's possessed or she's just crazy. But I, <laughs> I've listened to it three times. The most of the book I remembered, but the, uh, the ending I'd forgotten about completely. Until I started listening to it again, I thought, oh yeah, now I remember why I like this audiobook so much. Um, and then I have, what other one do I have? Hercule Poirot, the Agatha Christie book, Head Full of Ghosts, and one other. I'm trying to remember what it is, but so oh, Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde. That's a. Uh, I'll be listening to that audio book next. Uh, my Halloween. That's the last of my Halloween audiobooks. Uh, Thanksgiving, I have a few. Christmas, I have about four or five. And I just like to listen to them around those those months. Uh, find them fun. But again, uh, I love my backpacking audiobooks. Uh, I'm looking forward to. Uh, I'm not like a big into the celebs type guy. But the one about Will Smith is kind of interesting. I previewed it, and I kind of like the tone of it. Uh, and then, uh, of course, uh, finishing off The Lincoln Lawyer, about 75% done with that one. Uh, anyways, I just find they make the hike really nicely. And again, I would recommend Beats. These are good. I know a lot of people like the little ones you fit in your ear. Uh, I've had those before. Spent a lot of money just to get something lost. This is a lot harder to lose. As you can see, it goes right around my neck. Um, anyways, so I don't know if you can see the terrain we're at. Uh, and I am a fat guy who needs to lose weight. That's why I'm out. It's not like I'm out of breath, but I'm doing pretty good. I gotta be honest, the uh, first time my wife and I did this, well, I've done this trail. This will be my fourth, maybe fifth time. Uh, but the last time was just Sam and I, and I was dying at this point. Uh, there's a rock coming up. I had to sit down. I was so out of shape. Uh, one of the things I think helps, and I listened to Darwin on this. He's Darwin on the Darwin Trails, I believe is his name. He's a, another he's a YouTuber, and he mentioned doing little hikes, uh, and uh, that's what I'm doing. So, and then uh, the king of uh, Kentucky backpacking, and his co partner John. Uh, John's a heavy set guy like myself, and he. He also mentioned that start, you know, start easy, and then, um, you know, build up. And that's what I've been doing. I haven't done a lot of hikes. I mean, uh, not as many as I should, but I have done. I've started trying to do hikes more often, and uh, I almost forgot. I like to track my mileage, and I almost always forget. Uh, let me turn this on. I have a Nano. Yep, still have it. I even have two two uh, shuffles. They both work. 
I need to get charging cords for them because I want to charge them up and have them ready to go. You can't download anything on them anymore, but that's okay. I've got plenty of music, a few old podcasts on there. Um, using a shuffle or an iPhone is better for that sort of thing, but uh, it's still nice to have. One of the things I like about the shuffles, I know they're low technology, they don't have the, the, the uh, um, uh, battery go dead. Oops. Hold on. Oh, hopefully I had the battery. I charged it before I went, it came out here. It's gonna be suck. It sucks. Okay. There we go. And okay. Okay, good. So anyways, this is a, a, uh, Nano. It works great actually. I love using it for uh, tracking my mileage. Sorry, I'm trying to find a spot to put it in. Here we go. Make sure it's still going. Yep. Turn it off. But uh, again, this I can, I've got my iTunes account. I can still download uh, books onto it, podcasts, stuff like that. Um, I mainly use it to track mileage. I don't want to go on walks in our neighborhood, uh, which is what I like to do. And I got to tell you, taking walks every day has helped. Um, and I got to tell you, if you're a big guy like me, I obviously need to lose weight. So I'm not, not one of these people that, oh, you, 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 my weight is my identity. No, no, no. I used to be, I've always been kind of an average size. Like a stocky build, I was told, broad shoulders, but I was never fat. And uh, you know what? I got, mar got married. And uh, not blaming on my wife, although she's an amazing cook. She doesn't let me cook. I keep trying to cook, but after my uh, Chinese burrito experiments, she's like, "Nope, oh, Dave, you're not cooking. You are not allowed to cook." So, oh yeah, I use a walking stick. Uh, it's like, Dave, no cooking for you. So I get to cook when she's not around. Eat anchovy pizza when she's not around. <laughs> uh, but going on a walk really helps. I really, I almost didn't go yesterday. I, it's amazing how your mind can go, oh, no, nah, I can't go on a walk. It's too late or something else. And I almost did that yesterday, but I'm a to-do list guy. I like to-do lists. And uh, I had it on my to-do list. And the, the day before Thursday, I had it on my to-do list, but I didn't do it because we, we had a youth activity. So I didn't get to go on a walk. It's easy to make those excuses. And I almost did it yesterday. But uh, you know what, now Dave, I'm gonna go on a walk. This is something I need to do. Uh, it's good exercise. Uh, even if I don't lose weight, which I'm hoping to try to do, um, at least I'm getting exercise, keeping the using my muscles, and everything. Because I'm 51 years old. I don't. I think most Gen Xers are probably between 40 and 55. I think. I don't know if that's our age group. But we, we want to keep healthy. Interesting enough that we're never mentioned by the media. If yeah. It's always the millennials, the Zesters, uh, the baby boomers. And nothing against those groups, but we were in the middle of that. And uh, I think, yeah, if we want to live longer, healthier lives, at least exercise is the way to do it. Um, I see those guys in those uh, those carts, you know, that go around the stores and stuff. I think, man, I do not want to be like that. I like, I, I'm gonna enjoy my life. I, like I said, I'm 51 years old. I'm 51 years old, and uh, I figure I got another 20, maybe 25 years left of, of being physically healthy enough to do this sort of thing. Um, and I would take advantage of it. I mean, I just. I want to enjoy my life. I don't know if we'll ever go travel the world. Although one of our goals is to go to England and Scotland. 
I wouldn't mind going to France, northern France. Um, sure, I'll go see. Uh, oh wow, look at that. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna pause this. I've got my little thing here. I forgot my little. All right. I don't know if you can see that. Is that kind of cool? So there's a little cave down in there. You can see where people walk down there, or water has accumulated. Definitely can see that. Here goes the other part. Uh, I don't know if you see those clouds. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful. Now, if you go, if if you if this was a clear day, you could see down to Salinas there. So I'm kind of glad you can't, because uh, it kind of takes away from the uh, aura of being out here in the uh, being out here in the the wilderness. All right, so I'm gonna pause this because, like I said, this is an iPhone 8 I'm on. Uh, horrible battery power, especially when I use my camera. Probably gonna get an i14 here soon. Has better, more memory. Uh, oh, hey, look here. Here's a little we're gonna walk down here. Especially when this rains, these fill up. Great little ponds. Because uh, I don't see any water up here, so I'm not sure where. Fremont is. Oh, what, there's a little lizard. Can you see him? Oh, he's not happy. He's not happy. Oh, he's fast. Anyways. Yeah, there's another one. So these holes have to fill up with water to a degree. Um, in my humble opinion, I could be wrong, but I, I gotta imagine they got filled with water. Um, because, I mean, <laughs> we get a little more rain than the desert does. But there's about as much water up here as, as you find in the desert. Ugh, I hate that. Come on, guys. Don't litter. Just pick up your freaking garbage. It, it's not that hard. Uh, let's keep this pristine. And before I get some lunch, I'm not some freaking... Uh, what do you call it? Tree hugger. Uh, I find those pe people hypocritical and moronic, gluing themselves to pictures and destroying pictures. By the way, they how do they record our iPhones? What do you think phones are made of, you morons? Oil. How do you think you got to that location? Did you walk? No, it's not such hypocrites. But, you know, look all this beauty. I know it's kind of uh, yellowish. But it will get it's, it will start to green up because we're probably gonna get some rain here in a few weeks. Uh, and I gotta tell you, it just don't litter. We don't have a lot of open spaces left, sadly. Uh, and uh, let's keep as much of this open as possible, uh, so we can be beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this. I, I need to check my battery life. Like I said, this camera, which I like, it's it's been a good camera, but horrible battery. I guarantee you, when I left the car, it was 100%. It's probably down to 40%, maybe even 60%. And then here, to, as I walk a little further, we'll uh, I'll turn it back on. I'll show you some more stuff. Uh, yeah, hopefully, at the free walk, I can hear some kid yelling, Mom, Dad. I really got to take a freaking leak. Uh, yeah, it's just down over there where no one is. Maybe they'll do that. Oh, add to, add to the water there, I guess. Um, all right, we'll be back. All right, so here we're back. Fat guy in his backpack. I am about halfway at the Fremont Peak. It is right up there in all its glory. There's even a plane flying by. But what I wanted to do was kind of stop and again, I'm gonna move this sideways. And I'm going to show you behind me. Again, this is my first video, so it's going to look pretty ugly. But I don't know if you can see those clouds behind me. Right below there is the Salinas Valley, one of the most fertile valleys in the country. Sometimes we call it the lettuce bowl, or salad bowl. Um, but it's a beautiful area. I got to tell you, one of my favorite times of year is this area is they get the farms ready to start, uh, start growing lettuce. Uh, spinach, cabbage, it is, it's all grown down there in this whole area. 
it goes all the way over there. It's this beautiful valley, uh, coastal valley, I guess you'd call it. Um, if you go over that way, you can even see the ocean from one point. Uh, I think up at Fremont Peak, you can actually see the ocean. Uh, but I'm right now almost dropped my cliff bar, eating my cliff gar bar, getting a little energy. Uh, crunchy peanut butter. It's actually pretty good. Uh, back. Okay, so <clears throat> in my, I'm eating a peanut butter crunchy cliff bar. Uh, my favorite flavors are macadamia, peanut butter, uh, chocolate's okay, uh, raisin flavor's not too bad, coffee I don't drink, cause I'm not, I don't like the coffee flavor. Um, I don't drink coffee to begin with, so that, that makes it easy. Uh, but anyways, I just wanted to show you this from where we're at, the valley down there. Uh, again, up there is Fremont Peak. Uh, I don't think it's the highest peak around here. It might be the highest peak in San Bernardino County. Uh, we're mostly farmland, which is great because again, that's where you get most of your food from. Good chance uh, if you're eating lettuce right now or a salad of some kind, you probably got it from here. Uh, so anyways, we are gonna be moving along. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put a pause to the video. And like I, like I thought, <laughs> again, filming a video takes a lot of battery power <clears throat> out of this uh, camera. I am down to 72% last time I checked. So again, it goes really quick when I use this. Luckily, I, I brought a solar charger, so I'll charge it up when I get to the top. I'm going to be eating lunch up there. I have, uh, I brought those backpackers pantry, rice and beans. So I'm kind of curious to see what it tastes like. But tried also brought some beef jerky i've been watching there's a backpacking chef i like to watch on occasion he showed how you can put beef jerky you can boil it in there and then it just rehydrates so i thought hey why not uh i am right now going to take a swig i do not have a camel bag i don't like those things i think they're a pain in the ass to clean out so i don't use one um i have one of these good old-fashioned canteen from my scout days uh and if, like I said, I, I do a few older, older school things I like to do. Uh, I don't think everything m new is great, so I'm gonna take a swig. Oh, that tastes great. It is Hollister water, so Hollister water is not the greatest. But when you're hiking up a trail and you're out of shape, fat guy, it comes in handy. And one of the things I'm going to do, I brought some extra things of water. I brought two, uh, which is one of the things I like to do. I have water in the car too, so when I get back, I'll be fine. Uh, but when I go hiking, uh, sometimes I don't bring this, but when I do go on hiking, I actually like to bring my backpack. It's a European backpack. Uh, I usually bring two to three things of water with me. Uh, just so I have enough, I went over to Henry Co. Park, the Hollister entrance uh, about a month ago, and I brought three and I drank two and a half. It was 98 degrees, no shade, probably not the best back hiking uh, weather. I do a lot more hiking than backpacking, but I'm hoping to change that. Uh, next Friday, I'll be at Henry Co. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause, pause this, pause it. Pause this. I'm um, listening to the Lincoln lawyer, uh, and they're on trial for a guy who uh, may have raped a prostitute. So it's actually kind of good. Uh, it is a Netflix series as well as I think Matthew McConaughey did a movie on it. Uh, but it's it's, good. it's not a bad backpacking uh, uh, audiobook. Proctor or Proctor John. Uh, was the other hiking uh, audiobook I have. Now, when I'm done listening to an audiobook, I just, I, like I said, I put it in my library, but that one, Proctor John, um, I, I go ahead and leave it in my hiking and backpacking uh, collection. I just always like to have it. I, I, I'm a history nerd, so I have no problem re-listening to history books. Uh, and that's one of those I like to listen when I go backpack. It's about an hour, and a, about two hours long. So it's not a long audiobook, but it's kind of nice to have there. All right, so I'm headed back up to the second part of this uh, this hike. All right. 
All right, so I am at Fremont Peak now. You see the fog moving? It's kind of creepy, actually. I don't know if you can see it from this video, but it's low, you can see the fog blowing. It is really a bit creepy. But like I said, I'm here on Fremont Peak. Uh, here I am. I don't know if you can see me or not, but here I am on Fremont Peak. This is the uh, turn around here. Oh, <laughs> we're a bit ugly. Here we go. Here's the uh, let me move my bag. This is the uh, Fremont Peak Memorial. The American flag was first raised in California soil March 4th, 1846, on this spot by General John Fremont. Wow, what a spot to put it on, too. And uh, over there is San Juan Batista. Uh, the clouds are starting to lift on this side. Uh, hopefully, this is a sign of rain. I, I would love nothing more to be rained on than today. Uh, there have been hiking in the rain, but we need the rain so bad they all take it. Anyways, this is Fremont Peak. Um, <coughs> this was placed by the native daughters of the Golden West. San Juan Batista Parlor, number 179, Copa de Oro Parlor, number 105, and the native sons of the Golden West. Uh, dedicate 1925, rededicate 1997. Wow, so rededicate 1997. So that wasn't too long ago. Um, I don't know if you can see around here, but I'm up. It's not an easy little hike to get up here. Um, try to maneuver things around. Right now, I have my my uh, battery or my solar charger here, which I like a lot. I've heard some people say they're not that great. I'm just kind of showing you the area. Uh, you know, I like it though. I really do. So I'm gonna put this back on my telescope, which I use a lot. And I'm not gonna lie, I love using this thing. This is great. Let's see if I... Good. Sorry, I just paused right there to make sure my uh, uh, Bluetooth connector was working. And it is. And so I'm going to walk over here a bit, and I'm going to make this much. But we're going to kind of walk around here real quick. I'm just kind of fixing my backpack so I can carry it. Uh, okay, I'm starting to see the, <laughs> the advantage of having tracking bowls, because I was walking up here using my walking stick, which I'm so proud of carrying all the time. And walking stick shower. And, uh, make them smaller and with these you can't do that so with my walking stick it's solid wood and this thing's pretty old I've had it for about seven years now and I was a couple times when I was worried I was gonna break it coming up here so I'm gonna I'm a little disappointed by some of the litter I see around here. Seriously, if anyone from San Diego County watches this and people that come up here, just pick up your garbage. See, there's a piece of garbage right there. Just pick up your freaking garbage. Seriously, just, uh, not to sound too overly juvenile, but don't be a litter bug. All right. oh, the walking stick does come in handy. I can kind of use it to, I don't know if you can hear it, keep myself steady. Well, there's a couple times I probably, my fat ass would have fallen right over. All right. And all these geographic survey deals. Looks like there's a place to get down over here. Yeah, right over here. Yep, I can go through there and down and around, it looks like. 
or let's go here let's take a look see if I can make it over there from here uh, here we go here okay I'm trying to figure out how to hike down from here without going the way I came I can hike down here and around alrighty cool 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 <laughs> I've almost fallen like three times up here so glad I have hiking boots I know a lot of Backpackers like to use tennis shoes. Sorry. No way. No way I'm using tennis shoes. No freaking way. All right. So I'm going to find a spot where I won't be in the way people are trying to get down over here. But, oops. I think I found a spot right here. All righty. So there's Fremont Peak right there. Let's see if we can zoom in. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Zoom in. See, so you can see it right there. Let me zoom in a little more. There it is. Crazy, huh? And look at all those clouds literally above the clouds up here oh, okay. beautiful up here it really is uh, during the summer this is all clear and so you can't it's nothing like this it's like a sea of clouds it really is amazing uh, let's see yeah you can't see it but over that way let's see my hand pointing yep my hand over there my fingers point that's Monterey the oceans over that way there's uh, Mount Madonna that's a little more of a rainforest over there uh, so you have all these little microclimates dirt climates and so forth all right this is pretty nice oh, I'm looking for a So here we go. Get ready to start to cook. I tried to set this up as a tripod, but was able to. So here's my burner. Okay, so I'm going to start up here in a second. And then what I'm going to use to boil my water. Hold on a second here. This right here. I've done it before over at Henry Co. 100 degree weather I went hiking in, bike hiking with, with no shade. Just like this. So I'll boil it like this to hold it so it doesn't just fall over. Boil the water. And then what I would do. Is I will cook my Louisiana red beans and rice and got some meat I brought hold on. some chicken Costco chicken and 
that. Some beef jerky steak. So I saw the backpacking chef do this, so I thought I'd give it a shot. See how it works out. Uh, I've read mixed reviews about this brand. Backpackers Pantry. So I'm gonna do my own sampling, see if it's any good. And uh, I'll let you know. I tried to put this on the tripod, but keeps falling over. Uh, so I will cook a little and then come back. So here I am on the peak. There we go. San Juan Batista. That part's all called certain. All right, so here we go. The boiler, so water's going to See some hikers headed down. So now I know the way for me to go. I'm gonna go this way and down and out. You know, and I should be home by probably four o'clock, three thirty, four o'clock. Um, looking forward to that. I think I'll just go back the way I came, speed things up, <laughs> and I'm about to eat my lunch up here at beautiful Fremont Peak. All right. Enjoying myself. Uh, got another few minutes, according to my timer, another four minutes, and we'll give it a shot. Let's just see how these work out. Again, I think it was leaking, or maybe I just got some off the side or something. The Louisiana red beans and rice. So I'm having that along with the water. I do have, let's see, this is my bag. I have a bear bell, obviously, you don't need here. It's a flashlight. Uh, what else do I have in here? My, my spork. Like that's great for this for day hikes. Uh, I've got my pocket knife, a little paper there just in case. I figured I always like to pack just in case something's gonna happen. Uh, my small burner. It's almost gone actually. Uh, two things of water. I use my, all my canteens empty. Used it for my thing. Uh, I think I'll be okay for water for the rest of the trip. Uh, what else I got in here? This is an emergency. Uh, I do have diabetes type two, 
So I have some uh, butterscotch sucker. Uh, there is some strawberry, just in case. I guess just for sugar rush. This thing of a and w flavor. I have tried it once, didn't really like it. So I'm just gonna do water this time. Uh, what else do I have in here? I have my Cliff Bar, which I ate. Uh, I've got some gum. This is for Sam, my wife. Almond, cage-free, egg white, sea salt, lemon oil. So that's for her, in case her to eat it. Some pistachios. What else I got in here, just in case? Yeah, let's put this there for right now. Oh, down here. I've got, uh, what do I have in here? <laughs> Lotion, not sure why. Got a one of these energy blankets. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, a couple energy blankets like that. And a couple ponchos, emergency ponchos. I only have one. I have... Nope, I have two. See, see, these are just two. Just in case. I, I think it's always good to be a little prepared. Uh, the reason I have two of these blankets is sometimes Sam comes with me uh, on a hike. Uh, sometimes not. And then this is the first day kit. A bit overkill. Got a ace bandage here, a, a, a whistle. What else I got? This below thing. I think I always said I'm going to leave this at home, but I always bring it. But I don't even know if it works. Uh, this is my first day kit. It's a little overblown. I don't, know I don't need half this stuff in here. But it fits perfectly in this bag. So I've got just a compressor. Uh, what else we got? We've got some aspirin, some band-aids, some diabetes pills in case I need them, gloves, stuff. Just the basics. All right, so that's what I got there. And let's see what... Check my clock. Yes, I feel like Moses. All that I ever see here is mine. Man, yeah, I would not want to take a horse on this trail with all these holes. They're just everywhere. I wonder how, how good these are for the... Uh, uh, for the soil, what they cause erosion. Alrighty. So, what I'm gonna do is I wanna get back to my audiobook. <laughs> it's really good. Again, a Lincoln Lawyer, not a bad backpacking audiobook. Uh, it's the Will, will be the, probably the next one I get to. I did, uh, the one I listened to before this, it was a long one. Well, it wasn't so much long as it took me a while to finish it because I just didn't want to go in backpacking, but it was um, about terraforming Mars and then just other future things. Uh, Mia Caso had done it. I can't remember what his first name is, but he was the, he wrote it and talked about terraforming Mars, how humans could live forever. Would it be okay? Would it be uh, something that we'd want to do? Something we should do? Anyways, it was really good. Uh, anyways, it took a while to complete that one. It was like a, it was like a 15, 24 hour, 20, 20 hour book. So it was, it took a few backpacking trips to get to finish it, that one. Uh, this one, uh, I think it was, this one was only about 10 hours. Uh, the narrator is good. I can tell you one thing, when you're reading yeah, listening to an audiobook, a narrator can make all the difference. If you get a, uh, cr a crappy narrator and you have a good book, that good book suddenly becomes a bore. You can have a great narrator and have a crappy book, and suddenly that crappy book is actually, oh, this is really interesting. The narrator brings it alive. So, anyways. All right, I am now in the middle of the clouds. Uh, completely. I 
I'll put both my earphones in. So, am I? Yep, I'm still recording. So, gotta make sure. Last time I stopped recording, all that was, you missed all that commentary that backpacking, the fat guy's backpack was recording. Well, in this case, I'm on my, on my day pack, which I kind of showed at the top. It's a great little pack. I thought about getting an Osprey, but so far I like this one. Yeah. My headphones are slipping on my ear, probably through all the sweat. Um, but anyways, so I'm coming up to a bridge. I'm assuming normally there's water. Uh, right now there is none. Uh, you definitely could see where there would be water. Couple seven. I just want to show you the clouds behind me. There it is. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. So, anyways, that's it for right now. All right, here we are at the end of the trail. Again, you can see all the fog behind me. Crazy, huh? This is very normal this time of year in this part of California. Uh, my car is the only park here. The ranger station's right there. Um, we came from up there. We do have pine trees, by the way. I actually never noticed that before. Uh, so many. I've noticed pine tree here, there, but not that many. Uh, just coming over here to show you the different predators. I think it's really cool. I, I, I love uh raptors i think they're pretty beautiful birds uh you can see right here there's a sign barn owls northern harrier uh turkey vultures you see turkey vultures all the time they're really common golden eagle i didn't know golden eagles were in this area uh california condors used to be around here i don't know if they're a over here or not uh red-tailed hawk cooper's hawk american uh, castrol great horned owl osprey didn't know they lived in there, but apparently they do. So we have quite a few, uh, pretty cool. A lot of cool predators in the area. Uh, but I am all done with this hike. Next week, uh, we will be going to Henry Co. Park. Again, show you some more of the central part of Cal central coast area of California, as it's known. Um, by the way, I don't know if you can see that tower behind me. Let's see if we can. Uh, well, there's a cell tower behind me. It's kind of creepy how it, it, it opens up from the uh, the sky. So, anyways, I'm gonna head home. I might stop one more time for this video. This was video one. Uh, fat guy in his backpack. And yes, I'm using a a day hike bag for this one. Uh, but next next episode, I'll kind of go over what I'm going to use for my pack. I am open to comments, preferably positive ones, or constructive criticism is great. Uh, how I can do a better job, I'd love to hear, especially from Gen Xers. Again, we don't I don't see a lot of videos from our generation. They're usually the millennials. Occasionally, I'll see some from the uh, baby boomers. Fine, fine. But Xers, where are we? Come on, we're the the age of of uh, the beginning of of rap music heavy metal uh star wars you yeah? uh, know i get numerous others so hey i'm gonna try and put this all together i'm gonna get my daughter myra hopefully she can help me out and uh i don't know how there's a way to merge all the videos together i'm sure there is um and then put my first youtube channel out there ever i don't know who will watch it or why they would um Again, any positive, please put comments in the comment area. I'm not sure how to do that, but if you can do it, that'd be great. I'd love to know what I could do better, uh, constructive criticism, different ideas on things to be safer. Again, I'm a heavy set guy, that, that's helpful. Again, I'd like to thank people like John from uh, the Backpacking Podcast for kind of inspiring me. I've seen some of his videos. He's a heavy set guy too. He, I felt, hey, he said, hey, if I can do it, you can do it. So, hey, you know what? 
this is if this is a midlife crisis this is probably a good one to have where i'm actually getting exercise talking to myself as i walk by i'm sure people are going oh my gosh got a hobo living here but i I think it's a great way to get exercise. So encourage more Gen Xers to get out there, show videos, uh, give me advice, show me what I can improve upon. And uh, we'll see you uh, back at home. Probably Tuesday, I'll make another video uh, as I get ready for my Henry Co. one. And I'm hoping my daughter, Myra, can show me how to merge all these videos together. I will eventually be getting, I may try one of those action cameras next time. I just don't really like it. Maybe because I'm used to using my Apple, but uh, I definitely am gonna get a new iPhone, which I think with a new iPhone, you can do pretty much everything you could do with those cameras and even more. All right. Hey, you guys have a great day. And hey, join me in the backpacking with the fat guy in a backpack.